What's up folks, it's Chili here. After what seemed like aeons, after we did not get any information about Age of Mythology retold, uh, after it was first announced, we finally got our first drop of information. We can finally see some art and some screenshots about the game. I am so excited. Uh, not many of you guys know this, but Age of Mythology is actually my favorite game of all time. I actually did not grow up with Age of Empires 2. I grew up with Age of Mythology, and I I still play the extended edition every now and then just for nostalgia's sake. Part of the reason why I got back into Age of Empires at all and started playing Age of Empires 3 and Age of Empires 4 was because I wanted to relive my childhood in Age of Mythology. And I'm so excited that we finally get some information about the upcoming retold which my, by my understanding is kind of like a HD remake, but uh, more in the vein of the definitive editions of the Age of Empires 3 and Age of Empires 4 games, or sorry, Age of Empires 3 and Age of Empires 2 games, um, rather than being a completely new game in and of itself. Already we have the, uh, the splash art spread here. This looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, it, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go into all the content that was released and uh, I'm gonna talk about give some analysis on the uh, on the units that I'm seeing here on the designs that I'm seeing here and yeah let's just dive into it um, so right up here this is the this is the splash art we see these Greek pillars the uh, Corinthian columns very iconic uh, for the game honestly age of mythology was the reason why I got into reading about history and learning about like Greek architecture and Greek history initially and then from there I got into Rome total war yeah, it was such a good it was such a good period of time um, if you didn't grow up during that period, you really missed out. Uh, in the set, dead center here, we have Zeus in his classic look, uh, the same Zeus that we saw in Asian mythology, Poseidon over on the right-hand side with the trident. Uh, this, I believe, is Ra. Uh, down here is Odin, which uh, Odin looks a little bit new. Some some designs here that seem a little bit inspired almost by Marvel movies where the the this headpiece here almost looks a little bit futuristic. Um, obviously, he's got his, his ravens behind him. Uh, we have Loki hanging out over here uh, with the horns on his head, along with some wolves, possibly a reference to Fenrir, who is his, uh, I believe, canonically his son. Uh, the Minotaur in the back over there, obviously up here is Thor with his hammer, Mjolnir. Um, in the middle here, I think that's our Kantos. Yeah, and then, um, oh my god, I forgot. Is this Amara? I think that's her name. And then this character is the Valkyrie... Oh, I forgot her name too. It was um, I think it started with an S, but I I, I don't remember. That's so cool that they're actually featuring Arcantos and the uh, and, and the campaign characters here. Uh, dead center here is Isis, uh, looking almost like uh, a modern day Cleopatra, or how we stereotypically might think of Cleopatra. Uh, over here, I think this is Set, uh, not quite Anubis. I think the uh, animal here. Oh man, I'm I'm, I'm trying to remember all of my Greek, all of my ancient mythology uh, facts. It's been so long. Um, the animal of Set is actually based on a mythological animal that I think doesn't exist today. Uh, so anyways, I can't speak more to that, but it's awesome to see him here. Uh, and then over on the right here, I think this is Athena with the owl, uh, obviously the symbol of Athens, along with the shield that uh, is the same, the shield that has Medusa's head on it, which is the shield that uh, she originally gave to Perseus uh, to slay the Medusa. And then uh, this, I think is, I think this is Gaia. I think they reimagined Gaia. Um, she kind of looks like the, uh, in, in, in the game, the Atlanteans, uh, ha they have a, um, they have a myth unit called the Her Hersperides. I forgot the name, how to pronounce the name exactly, but they're basically uh, tree nymphs, um, and they kind of look like Groot, and it's kind of funny. I mean, she basically looks like a female version of Groot, which, you know, since the Marvel movies have come out, I'm sure that's been in a lot of people's imagination, so it makes total sense why she would look look like this. I think this is a, a great redesign. It makes her look a lot more interesting compared to uh, before, where she was just kind of like a half-naked lady. Um, yeah, overall, really good-looking uh, poster here. Here's the uh, vertical version of it. Um, just absolutely amazing i love the teal and orange aesthetic it seems like a very popular uh vibe that people go for nowadays i will say though that the um image almost the splash art here almost reminds me of like what a modern day like chinese moba game uh has it doesn't quite have that same like 90s aesthetic uh that the old art had um which is a bit of a shame but not not too bad i mean i think overall very very happy with uh with what they're doing here it looks looks like a very very modern take on the game um let's go ahead and dive into the oh uh, actually one thing i will call out here is that uh we are seeing a total absence of any kind of chinese uh mythology uh and if if in fact they don't uh have any kind of advertising so i mean 
the original game uh, had the Greeks, the Egyptians, and the Norse. And then they added the Atlanteans expansion, uh, which was an amazing expansion. Um, but a lot of people were looking for other civilizations and other mythologies to be incorporated, whether it be like Aztec or Mayan mythologies, uh, maybe a Persian mythology, Indian mythology, Chinese mythology. And in the extended edition, which is the closest thing we have to an HD remake right now, uh, they did add the Chinese faction, but the Chinese faction, I think the development was kind of um, uh, a little bit half-baked. I, I, I'm not sure they had full resources in building that faction, so a lot of the uh, a lot of the units didn't look right. The campaign was god awful. Um, the the uh, the units, the voice acting, the mythology, it just wasn't. Um, it wasn't a. F it wasn't a fully well rendered version of China and if a lot of people wondering like if they are going to remake Asian mythology are they going to include a Chinese faction well I think we see our answer here if there was a Chinese faction or another fifth faction uh, or another fifth culture uh, incorporated here I'm sure it would appear on the cover art and the fact that it doesn't kind of signals that I think the base game will only have the Greeks the Egyptians the Norse and the Atlanteans which you know all, all the better because I personally hope that they completely rework or revisit China from the drawing board. Uh, don't do what they did in the extended edition because that, that shit not only did not look right, it also didn't play right. It was completely unbalanced. So uh, let's go into the screenshots here. Oh man. So one of the first things, this is the first screenshot. All of these are taken from the, uh, the Steam store page, by the way. Uh, so you can check them out there yourself if you want to. Um, the, my first impression on um, looking at all these images is just, I'm shocked at how similar this looks. Like the vibe is perfect. It looks exactly like how I imagined uh, Age of Mythology looked like when I was a kid. I mean, like the units you can clearly tell are, have like, uh, unfortunately this is the highest resolution that we've got here, but you can clearly tell that the unit models are a lot more high poly. There's a lot more detail going on here. Uh, the unit designs are like slightly refreshed and have a, a little bit more of a modern feel to them. But ultimately like the architecture, the colors, the, the, the lighting, just the general vibe here looks pretty much exactly the same from what you would expect from Asian mythology, which is really cool. Um, part of me was kind of hoping that they would kind of revamp the series and do a revisit, almost like Age of Empires 4. As you guys know, uh, longtime viewers on, on the channel will know that like Age of, mythology, uh, Age of Empires 4 is currently my, my big flame, and I it, it's a big departure from what the vibe of the Age of Empires series was in the past, but I actually really like the direction that they're going in with Age of Empires 4, and part of me kind of was hoping that Age of Mythology would be built with the Age of Empires 4 uh, engine just because it allows so much more versatility with your uh, building placement and the way the sieves, uh, the units move and everything. Um, it is being built, instead, the Age of Mythology Retold is being built on the Age of Empires 3 uh, engine, which at this point is a little bit, or, or Age of Empires 3 um, Definitive Edition engine, but which at this point is feeling a little bit dated, to be honest. Like whenever I go back to Age of, playing Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition, the camera's kind of sluggish, the unit pathing is a little bit awkward, attack move doesn't really work. Um, so the and, and building placement just seems like a little bit janky sometimes. Um, I kind of was hoping for a little bit more of a revamp, but ultimately this looks amazing. I think for nostalgia purposes, this hits all the marks and uh, I'm really excited to see uh, uh, how this will actually play out. I, I want to do some analysis, quick analysis of these buildings here. Um, this right here, I believe, is the Mausoleum of Hal Hal Halicarnassus, uh, which is a wonder for the Hades faction in the game, uh, if I'm recalling that correctly. Uh, these guys look like the Protomos, which are the anti-cal... I think they're anti-cavalry cavalry. Um, you can clearly see that they've got these... Uh, I, I, you know, I thought they were Boeishi helmets when I was younger, but I think these are just farmer type hat, like sun hats, um, that have a gold metal sheen on them. Uh, obviously we have the hoplites, uh, very, very classic. Uh, hoplite look for Age of Mythology in general. Uh, they do have this kind of like horizontal crest instead of a vertical crest, uh, which is a little bit. Eh, I mean, it, it looks fine. Um, and I love the I love the hoplons that they have here in the front. Uh, obviously, behind them are the archers, the Greek toxites. Um, looks very similar to what it looked like in Age of Mythology, but the plume here is now a plume, whereas in the past, I believe it was just a golden crest in the middle, um, which is it almost looked like a uh, Phygrian-ish cap uh, in, in the past. Um, over here is the Colossus. Now, the Colossus looks 
amazing. He looks so much bulkier and beefier as opposed to like just kind of sturdy and a little bit awkward in the past. Um, I think the uh, the big thing that stands out is he's now got like um, a queer ass in the center as opposed to just like a fully connected uh, metal body. He's now wearing like a queer ass, which looks pretty cool. Um, this dead center is the, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think is, is it called the fort? Um, fortress. I think this is the Greek fortress. Uh, when you click on it, it goes boom, boom. It's uh, so classic. Uh, it, it like very, very, very much resembles what the uh, Aiden Mythology version looked like. Um, just a little bit more uh, cleaned up and uh, modernized. Uh, this right here looks like the town center. It's a little bit cuter than what I remember, actually. Um, the town center is almost like stockier in a way. Uh, kind of reminds me of mobile graphic design a little bit more, which personally I think I'm a fan of. I think it works well in an RTS setting. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to read. Uh, obviously everything here looks really, really well done. Um, right here, I believe this is the hero Perseus. Uh, you see the plume that he had, the same thing that he had in the original game, as well as he's carrying Medusa's head right here. That Those green pixels are, are Medusa's head. Uh, this is obviously Ajax with his big shield He's got this, um, I think he's wearing like a bear cap or something like that. Uh, very iconic hero. Um, uh, over here is the Greek market. Uh, these are Greek towers with the, um, uh, with, with at least, at least upgraded to the, oh my god, I want to say Castle Age, but I think it's called something else in, I think it's called something else in Age of Mythology, isn't it? Um, what was it? What's before the Mythic Age? Mythic Age is the final age. Is it the Age of Heroes? Oh man, I need to refresh myself on, on all this. Uh, this right here is obviously a Greek house. These uh, walls are the fully upgraded Greek walls. I'm trying to remember, I don't remember what the name of the fully upgraded version is called. I think it's just called Fortified Walls um, at the end of the day, so uh, it, it probably isn't anything fancier than that. Uh, this is a mill. Um, I'm not sure what this building is. This might be a stables from behind. Uh, this is a blacksmith right here along with an archery range next to it and then another blacksmith. And then here's, oh, that's the Neiman Lion back there. Wow, the Neiman Lion looks so good. Oh my God. Um, and then uh, right here is the centaur along with hoplites. And then what are these units in the back here? These are, these look like archers of some kind that are like half naked in some way. Are these gastrophetes maybe? Uh, they kind of look like they're carrying crossbows a little bit. These might be gastrophetes, which are the uh, Hades unique unit. Each of the Greek factions have a their own version of a unique unit. So that might be what that is. This right Oracle looking thing right here looks like just a, um, a campaign asset and then here are the temples for the Greeks uh, back here we see more houses uh, let me see if we can spot any other units this might be an archer might be a toxitase it could also be the um, the Myrmidon uh, the unique unit for the uh, Zeus faction um, so uh, yeah, oh wow and then the uh, sorry I didn't even talk about the Minotaur earlier the Minotaur is looking big he's so tall now that's crazy and then his Oh my god, his axe is absolutely massive. Um, all right, let's see. What else What else do we spot here? Oh, here, this is the Hippicon, uh, the anti-archer Greek horseman, uh, Greek cavalry unit. Uh, this is obviously the stables for the Greeks. Uh, and this, I believe, is the Peltist unit, uh, which is the anti-archer archer uh, anti -archer ranged unit. All right, moving on to the second image here. Wow, this is obviously a scene of the Egyptian, uh, depicting the Egyptians. Uh, looks like a scene from the campaign. We look, we see here. This looks like a piece of Osiris, uh, one of the. Um, one of the best campaign uh, series of missions from the campaign that, in my opinion, are some of my favorite. Uh, all the stories around collecting all the pieces of Osiris. Very, very masterfully crafted campaign uh, missions there. Um, and it's really exciting to see that, like, uh, it looks like Age of Mythology Retold is going to be bringing back the same campaign experience. I mean, we saw the campaign characters uh, being featured on the cover art. Um, I think it'll be really awesome to see the, de the developers basically remake the uh, Age of Mythology campaign here. Uh, right next to it, we see three Sons of Osiris's. Uh, oh, actually, there's even six Sons of Osiris's. Now, normally, you can only get one Son of Osiris if you upgrade your Pharaoh uh, with the God Power. Oh, actually, there's even more Sons of, sons of Osiris's. Holy crap. Um, I, I doubt that you'd be able to actually field this many uh, in, in game, though. Uh, this might be just like a, something they set up in the custom. Uh, this looks like an elephant 
uh, a war elephant, which is uh, one of the Egyptian uh, heavy units, along with the uh, war chariot uh, or the chariot archer. Um, both very powerful units that are constructed from the Migdal stronghold. And I wonder if we can, yep, we can see a Migdal stronghold in the back here, looking very sturdy. And then uh, further in the back, we see a citadel, which is a god power upgrade uh, for the town center for the Egyptians, along with these. Uh, I think these are ballista towers, I think they're called, along with some pyramid uh, assets that look like they're from the campaign. Oh, this looks like the rock. Oh, wow. It's not just like an eagle this time. There's actually like little antenna uh, coming off of the uh, the head over there. Uh, these look like axemen. These pig <laughs> this collection of pixels over here uh, looks like the Egyptian axemen, the anti-infantry uh, infantry unit. Uh, and then back here we see uh, Egyptian house, a piece of the wall looks like the second level of the Egyptian wall, and then some uh, some Egyptian temples. Uh, I can't tell, but this kind of looks like maybe worshipping Ra. Um, hard to say though. Uh, up here we see the catapult, which is a very heavy siege uh, weapon. Um, and I cannot tell what figures these are. It might even be, I think it's probably raw. Uh, obviously dead center. Uh, we see the Phoenix, um, age four, not age four, mythic age, Myth mythology age. Oh man, I don't remember my ages. Um, it, it's, it's obviously a very powerful, uh, dragon, uh, fire breathing unit. Uh, looks a lot better in this game compared to uh, the original age of mythology, which if you remember actually, uh, looks a little bit janky, kind of, kind of a uh, low res, um, up Front and center, we see this Axeman squaring off against a Scorpion Man, um, basically a made-up mythological unit. Not really something you'd actually find in Egyptian mythology, but at the time the Age of Mythology was made, uh, The Rock just played in the Scorpion Man, that movie. Um, so I, I think that's where they got it's inspired by this from. Uh, is this guy holding a rock? It looks like the Scorpion guy is actually holding a rock. I wonder if there's another Scorpion Man around here holding a rock. Uh, it's hard to say. I wonder if they can throw rocks now. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and then right here, this is a... Oh man, I forgot what this unit is called. It's the uh, little alligators that shoot the sun rays uh, on on their on their heads. Uh, I think this is if my my if my recollection rec if my recollection is correct, this is based off of the um, was it the uh, Archimedes sun rays or something like that? Was it Archimedes that constructed? Basically, there was a uh, inventor. I think it was Archimedes in Sicily uh, who def who at least according to legend, was able to defend his city from invasion by setting up these massive mirror discs uh, on towers to basically burn down incoming enemy ships. Um, that's also what the, uh, I think the Atlanteans get a defensive tower that is inspired by the same thing. I, I wonder if this is also from that, because I don't think this is a real historical or mythological unit, uh, mythological character in Egyptian mythology. Uh, up front and center here are the mummies, which look fantastic they look even better than uh a little bit beefier than what they looked like back in the original age of mythology the original age of mythology they kind of look like um pete davidson kind of super skinny body types but uh it's interesting to see them kind of bulk up a little bit here um everybody everybody's been going to the gym getting those gains uh back here we see some slingers uh with their little shields up here's a scarab of course uh what else do we got here um oh man I, i'm still trying to remember what the alligator is called the petrobolos or no, that's the name of the the Greek catapult. Um, anyways, uh, back here, these are the spawns of Tartarus. Uh, previously only seen in the campaign, I think, up until uh, it was added to the Atlanteans, uh, Atlantean god power. I think there's a Tartarus gate uh, power that actually spawns these things, and they make that little like sound when they when they jump out. Um, these are wajits, wajets. Uh, which are snakes that shoot the venom. They have beautiful wings on the backs of them. I love how all the models are like just up res and just have so much more detail. Even though we have the same exact vibe as the original Asian mythology, it looks so much better here. Um, here's a temple and here we get to see that this is probably actually set. We see this little nose uh, hook coming down here. This might be a, a set thing. Uh, oh, this is a monument. Uh, the Egyptians are able to get um, favor uh, from constructing monuments and favor is how you produce myth units in the game. Uh, and then this is the Egyptian wonder. Um, if I recall correctly, this might be for Ra, was it? Um, I don't fully remember. This is either the Wonder or this is a campaign asset. I'm actually, might might be a little bit too detailed uh, to actually just be a Wonder. Um, and I think that's all the details I can spot in this screen here. Obviously another monument right here, uh, another piece of Osiris right here, um, a gate to Tartarus over here probably an asset from the campaign uh, looks amazing uh, i'm wondering if we see oh here's some avengers oh and as well as some new anubites 
oh man the avengers they look they look like classic avengers but they look they look solid i wonder if we can see like kemsit hiding around here somewhere um that's a campaign uh, uh, uh enemy hero unit uh oh man this is looking so cool um all right i think we can move on to the next image here i think this is everything that i can spot uh on this image all right moving on to the next one. Oh boy wow this is actually my first time seeing all these images so like i'm just uh, forgive me if i need to take a moment to let my breath catch up um i'm so excited to see this game guys uh the this is obviously a scene depicting the Atlantean uh, units. Um, we see the Atlantean temples here. This is uh, the Temple of Gaia, and I think this is also a Temple of Gaia. Uh, up front and center is obviously Gaia the Titan, and then over here is uh, what looks like uh, Kronos Titan, or just the standard uh, Atlantean Titan, which, which kind of looks like this in the, in the original game. Um, the guy Titan looks amazing. Uh, previously, you can only see it uh, from the campaign. I wonder if this is something that will be included in the uh, uh, custom matches as well. Um, but I doubt it. I'm guessing this is just a campaign only asset. But the fact that it's like you know, guy is kind of more featured on the um, on the cover art here. I wonder if like the campaign will feature more Atlanteans in some way. Uh, obviously. Gaia got a complete visual rework, and I personally love this direction because it fits really well with these uh, hyperides, hy hy hyperides, these these uh these wooden the, the dryads. They're called dryads. What am I talking about? The trees called the hy hy hyperides, uh, and these are called dryads, which are like wooden nymphs that are essentially I am Groot, uh, smacking people. Um, but yeah, it kind of fits in with that vibe. Uh, it fits in with the nature vibe, and making her just like a tangle of, uh, of thorns and roses and, and roots uh, just is a more naturalistic aesthetic that I think fits a lot better with today's uh, cultural climate compared to just like a half-naked lady uh, that maybe we'd be more familiar with from the 90s. Um, all right, and up front here, these are Arguses. Wow, they look... They look interesting. So previously, the Argus was like a balloon head, green, a bunch of eyes, eyeballs popping out. His, uh, historically, the, the the real mythology behind the Argus is like, it's like a I think it's actually like a dude that just had like a thousand eyes or something like that. Um, not necessarily this like this like spawn of Cthulhu, this like a uh, uh, cosmic horror abomination. Oh, dude, I actually I feel like I actually saw this exact figure in one of my uh, in one of my trips. Anyways, that's a story for another day. Um, uh, the tails are, are crazy looking. Wow, that looks so cool. And these little like arm stabby pointers that they got. This is insane. I wonder. I wonder if it, <laughs> so. Previously uh, in Age of Mythology, they would just they have little tentacles that come out from below them, and they would just kind of slowly slap people with their tentacles. Uh, now it looks like you might be doing some stabby stabby here. Um, these are the con con Oh man, I don't remember the name, but they—they they basically, um, they look like almost like medieval Italian uh, knights or something like that. Oh, right here is the behemoth. Oh, looking nasty, this guy. Holy crap, he's got like, uh, he's got like this badass jaw here with the teeth, the serrated teeth. That looking, that's looking so good. I love the, I love the metallic sheen on these buildings. This is looking really modern, really taking advantage of that Age of Empires three uh, uh, graphics engine there. Um, obviously, some of these units are. Um, are glowing yellow which indicates that they are heroes atlantean human units uh, each one of them can be upgraded to a hero if you sp if you have the resources if you pay the price um and uh back here are the arcuses the atlantean archers which are basically like a longbowman if you're familiar with age of empires 4. uh and then let's see what else is there um oh these are the heka heka gigantus i think they're called uh in real life mythology it's like a dude with like a like a million arms uh that uh, if i recall correctly did did Hercules wrestle him originally? Something like that. Um, but in any case, uh, in in game, it's a dude, and he can like ground pound and uh, and, and send people flying a little bit. Um, these are the water dryads, the water nymphs. I forgot the name. Uh, you go for Oceanus, and you get the um, you can you can start summoning these guys. They're pretty devastating on the water, but I don't remember their name. I haven't seen enough. I don't like you know just like with Age of Empires four. I don't like playing water on Age of uh, on Age of Mythology, so I didn't I didn't actually use them that much. Uh, over here. Here we see the this looks like the the ballista ship for the Atlanteans and there's like a hammer looking ship 
maybe this is a fire siphon type of ship here uh, almost taking some inspiration from the byzantine dromon um i don't remember what the names of these units are again i don't play water enough uh, we see some more naval vessels all the way in the back here i'm trying to spot and see if there's like any kind of easter eggs i'm missing out on uh, up here are the satyrs which are uh, uh, an, a second age unit that you can get um they throw javelins kind of like the javelin throwers for the millennials in age of empires 4 now that i think about it um but uh yeah they throw javelins around they have pretty pretty good dps um, is what I recall at least and overall just like a very beautiful image uh, obviously the shadow here is a little bit wrong oh actually I think he's doing a little stop here um, yeah I, I, I heard that titans in this game will actually be able to walk across water which I think is awesome because uh, in the previous Age of Mythology it was kind of a shame that if you if you're playing like a um, archipelago map uh, and you built a titan on one island you basically are relegated to only using on that island which is a little bit of a troll um so the fact that they can walk on water i think makes a lot of sense and uh yeah maybe it'll even convince me to play on water maps but i i doubt it i doubt it um all right next image okay this is the norse um oh, i'm loving the vibe of these buildings so it absolutely captures the aesthetic of the uh original of, of the original game's Norse, um, but you can clearly see that the buildings are a little bit more bulbous compared to what we had before. Uh, almost looks like something out of Northgard a little bit. I can almost hear uh, the, the Northgard music playing in the background here. Um, the, the colors are a little bit more vibrant too, very a little bit reminiscent of more mobile mobile style uh, art and graphics here. Um, these are the houses. This is the blacksmith, the market right here, the bla uh, the barracks. Uh, this building right here resembles a temple. I'm not sure if they changed the shape. Nope, nope. This is the uh, Norse temple. Uh, I'm guessing this is just a campaign uh, building, or this could be a completely new building. I'm not sure entirely. Um, uh, let's see what else we see here. These are some tents. Oh, actually, wow. These are these look exactly like the campaign asset tents that you'd see from the uh, from the original campaign. Up here, front and center, we see what looks to be a Jarl, which is a, um, a heavy cavalry unit for the Norse that actually deals bonus damage to myth units if i recall correctly and then behind them flanked on either side are the raiding cavalry which were uh devastating if you uh, if you rushed in with them um over here these look like whoa man are these throwing axemen i think these are the same units as there actually i can't tell no these are not throwing axemen these might be huskarls, actually. Okay, yeah, these are huskarls. You can see, uh, you can see they have the little cape, they have the blonde hair, and then they have some uh, teardrop shields. Um, a reference to the more of a Saxon type of unit, but you know, Norse kind of encompasses a lot of different cultures, so fair enough. Uh, over right here is the ox cart, looking fat, looking cute, uh, a little bit wider, a little bit of a wide boy compared to what I remember him as. Uh, obviously, we have the Norse villagers here, some elk hanging out here, um, a Norse, a little Norse fishing boat. Good to see that that's staying the same. Ah, uh, the Norse dock also looks really good. I this. This looks like the Eye of Sauron right here. This is a very interesting lighthouse. I haven't, I don't remember that. This is a hill fort, uh, reference to the various, probably the various Danish ring forts that were, um, that were originally constructed all around uh, Scandinavia. Um, and then uh, let's see what else we have here. Do we see a dwarf anywhere? This looks like another Jarl right here. This looks like a Ulfs Ulfsark, uh, the bear cap, bear pelt wearing uh, infantry unit, anti cavalry unit, wields an axe. Great for scouting, great for building, amazing unit. I, I love the way they designed the sieve, by the way. This is just such a cool, it's just such a cool sieve. Um, up front and center, we see all of the main heroes from the campaign cast. Uh, Arkantos right here, Ajax, Amara, Chiron, and then I still don't remember what the Valkyrie's name is, like Seif maybe? I, I still don't remember. Um, and then, oh, these are, these are interesting units right here. Whoa, what are these guys? These guys are glowing like they're a hero. We can see this orange glow on all these heroes. They're not a... Oh man, what's the Norse hero normally called? I think it starts with an H. Oh my god, why am I blanking out on this? Hi, It's not Heimdall. Heimdall is a god. It's Her Herseer. Herseer. They're called Herseers. Um, uh, yeah, so normally the Her uh, Herseers are the Norse unit, uh, myth Norse hero unit. Uh, every faction has a hero unit that can kill myth units and I think these guys are uh, actually something else. So I know in Age of Mythology Extended, uh, the Norse got a new unit called the Bogs Vagar, which are kind of like an archer type of unit. These guys don't look like archers. They kind of look like they're throwing javelins or something like that. And I'm trying to recall like throughout any kind of Danish or Norse history, is there anything that like resembles like a javelin thrower type of hero? And I can't think of any. So I'm not sure. This looks like a very interesting new hero unit. I'm excited to see. Almost got like a, oh wait, no, this is just a snow draw. I thought, I thought this guy had like a Tony Stark Iron Man uh, 
chest thing going on, but never mind. Uh, this is the Mountain Giant right here, along with the Valkyries. The Mountain Giant's looking a little bit rough, a little bit gaunt. Looks like he's lost some weight. He's not as big and beefy as before, uh, but it still looks pretty good. Um, I, li I like that they kept the, the red hair and everything. Uh, that's all amazing. More Ulf Sorks on the side, more Hersiers, uh throwing Axemen, and right here is an Einher Jar, which... Um, they, they're mythological units from the second age that uh, when they attack, they blow a little horn. They go, and oh man, it's it's such an iconic sound. Uh, we see the turret from the Norse here as well as some walls. Um, just, oh man, very, very, very beautiful. And I, I love, I love the water effects here. Like just the nature, the flora and the fauna, the rocks here, the way the snow is falling. This looks so beautiful. It looks like they really captured like all the advantages of what you see in the um, in Age of Empires 3, that the the engine there. Uh, looks amazing. Uh, this this Age of Empires 3 water just looks so beautiful. Sometimes I forget, like Age of Empires 3 is such an old game at this point. Sometimes I forget how beautiful it is when I'm just looking at a static image. Let's look at the next bit. Okay. Wow. This is, um... What is this? This is the underworld, uh, but I think, I'm trying to recall, I think there was a level in the underworld where you are fighting along the, I'm guessing these are the roots of Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil the uh, the world tree. Um, I, I, it's it's a really beautiful rendering of it. I love these these assets. They're like extending throughout the map. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can interact with them. They're just kind of on the edges here, but still looks really good. Oh, this is a Fenris wolf brood, I think. Uh, this is a age four unit where the more wolves you have, the stronger they are. Um, super devastating, which also comes along with the, um, oh, oh man, what was it? There was some kind of power. Was it called Ragnarok? No, it's not called Ragnarok. There was a, there's a god power that summons wolves everywhere. Uh, oh, it looks like we see the little wolves here. Wait, actually, now I'm confused. It looks like these are the Fenrir wolf broods. And then this is like a really big one, like almost like a wolf hero or something like that. That's interesting. And then these white ones look like regular wolves. Um, very interesting. I'm not sure exactly what that is. This this might be like a new campaign asset or, or might be changing something. I'm not sure. Either that or this guy's just like really placed close to the camera and I just can't tell. Like this is like really high up or something like that. Obviously this dragon right here, the Nidhogg, um, absolutely devastating god power uh back in the original game uh before the titans came out this is probably the biggest impact uh, single impact unit that you could summon um obviously here we got the iron uh and then up in the front we have the um this looks like a more uh more spoofed out iron like a little bit more um got a little bit more or shine going to him, almost like an Imperial Age Iron Jar or something like that. Possibly just an upgraded version of it. Um, I don't remember what the Iron Jar upgrade was called, uh, but uh, a lot of myth units get upgrades that also come with visual upgrades, so that's probably what we're seeing there. These these guys with the capes are obviously the Huskarls, and then this looks like a throwing axeman from the from the back. Uh, the throwing axemen have these little wings on the edges of their helmets, almost resembling uh, horns for for Vikings. I wonder if they actually took inspiration from the um, there's a there's a there's a uh, there's a celtic helmet that kind of resembles this it has like the little mickey mouse wings almost not, i don't know if you call them mickey mouse wings but they're almost like totoro style uh, mouse wings uh, on the sides of the helmet there i wonder if this is taking some inspiration from that because uh, it does resemble that a little bit uh the valkyries look great uh, not much to say on them they just look like uh the valkyries that you'd expect to see uh this elk over here taking a, a little drink of water from the uh the healing spring um trying to remember which god gives that power Oh man, which god gives that power? Was it, um, oh man, who's the guy that you fight in God of War? The first guy, the really beautiful god? No, 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 it's not that guy. Ah, oh, I'm forgetting, Halder? No, I'm, I don't think so. I'm, I'm not remembering the name correctly. Uh, ooh, these are the Frost Giants. And this is either a hero Frost Giant, like maybe Full Stag or something like that, or this is um, just the upgraded version of the Frost Giants. In in the game, when you uh, have the Frost Giants and you, and you research their upgrade, they get a little horned Viking helmets, which makes them look really badass. Um, these guys are looking crisp. Wow. Okay, so one thing that's really interesting here is that the in the original game, the Frost Giants would actually have the, these very like um, angled, uh, 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 boxy kind of... Uh, models, um, which kind of makes them look like they're shaped out of ice, uh, but it's also probably a restriction due to the low poly re requirements back back in those days. Um, now they're like they're looking buff. They're looking absolutely just. What is? Oh my god! What is what is going on there? This guy's shredded. This guy's been hitting the gym. That's amazing. Holy crap! It looks it looks very fleshy. That's really cool. And the oh whoa okay, wow! This guy is. This guy's big. Um, so this is the uh, Norse Titan. Uh, they 
decked him out with a few different things. Uh, he doesn't look as dumb as he used to. He looks like a, he used to look like a dumb giant troll. Uh, he's got this like some spikes coming off of his head. Looks like his head's still like frozen up. His face looks a little bit more nasty. His uh, he's got some man boobs going on. Um, and then over here, he's got like. He's got the uh, the a Mjolnir like kind of hammer uh, with some frost accents on it. Looks beautiful, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, right here, this is probably the edge of a Norse temple, I'm guessing. Um, and I think that's all I can spot in this picture. The just the sheen of the ice, the different environments that we're seeing from all of these images just looks absolutely beautiful. The fact that the the engine can can handle all these different like locales and environments just I'm, I'm getting so giddy <laughs> like look at look at this camera sheen right here the shine right here the, the lighting effect is just beautiful it just makes the game look so it looks like age of mythology uh from all the models designs and the textures but like it just looks like up resed and like brought into the modern age it was just so cool so exciting uh and we've got to the last screenshot here uh this is a destroyed uh, version of the greek fortress uh looks like some atlantean units up front here the con 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 Cantorai, the uh, Cantarius, crap. What is this guy called? I, I don't remember. The, the, it looks like, actually, what is this? This kind of looks like the um, Atlantean Lancer unit. I'm guessing it is. Uh, in the previous game, now that I think about it, yeah, in the previous game, the Atlantean Lancer unit had a um, had a big ass lance. It's kind of like the Knights in Age of Empires 4. It had like a jousting lance essentially. Uh, but now they have these tridents, which is really interesting. Which does mean that there it does free up some design space if they wanted to include a, a a unit with a lance in the future. You know, one of the things I've always thought would be really awesome is to have like a like a um, Western European style civilization um, that's not the Norse, not the Greeks, but uh, instead like based around the Celts and takes advantage of like some of the King Arthur uh, mythology as well. And you'd have like knights as heavy cavalry or something like that. I feel like that would fit really well with the vibe of this game. Uh, obviously, I'd love to see the Persians, the Chinese, the Mayans, the um, the Indi Indians, everyone. But like, uh, yeah, personally, me personally, I've always wanted to see a Celtic faction. I just think that'd be so amazing. Um, and then uh, up here, these are the, I think they're called destroyers. They are um, trident spearmen with these big heavy shields. They always kind of remind me of the Triarii from the uh, early Republican Rome uh, Rome days. Um, they, they have a little plume on their head. I love that some of these models are redesigned a little bit. This looks like a Lamp Lampades. Uh, it's a mythic unit, uh, a mythic age unit. That's a myth unit uh, after you worship, oh, what's her name? Is it Hecates? I think the goddess is named Hecates, and what she does is she converts. She basically will lose people, which is kind of funny. Um, uh, more satyrs back here. This is Castor. Oh, that's sick. Okay, Castor is back in the game. Looks like we're also getting the Atlantean campaign. Here's old Ajax with a little bit more of a gold sheen on him. Old Amaro over here. More dryads, more uh, Atlantean buildings here. The market, Atlantean manors. Uh, this right here is a... What is this? This is a healing unit, right? This is a... I, I don't remember what this unit's called. I think this is a healing flying unit. I, I just, the name escapes me because I, I barely use these things. This is, again, that reference to that Archimedes uh, sun mirror uh, disc. I forgot what the name of it was in the game. Uh, this is the behemoth uh, looking nasty once again. Uh, and then in the back here, these are the fanatics, I think they're called. I think they're called fanatics. They're two-handed sword wielding infantry units. Uh, oh, whoa. This is, this is an... I think this is an automaton. Uh, so in the previous game, the automatons, they look a little bit more blockier and they're usually made of all black, but now we see this kind of like bluish magical hue uh, attached to it, which is looking pretty sick. It almost looks like a, like a dark evil dark knight, something you see it out of like, um, like Dark Souls or something like that. Uh, and then you see the town center here, the temple here, again, we have Gaia up front and center. Uh, this looks like a sky portal, I think it's called. Um, which is a uh, unique building to the Aranos faction, um, where they can actually teleport units from one side to another with the sky portal set up. Uh, and right here is the um, Atlantean version of a scout. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of what these guys do, but I love the design because what they do is they, they don't have that much vision, but you walk them out and they stand still in the area and they, they slowly grow their vision radius around that. Uh, which I think looks amazing. Uh, it just I, I I'm hoping that a unit like this could actually exist in Age of, in Age of Empires 4 as well. Um, I was thinking about the uh, like the Malian 
The Millennium's getting a unit like the Griot, where they uh, stand still and slowly uh, grow their influence in some way. Uh, Griots historically were more like historians uh, for that society, so I just felt like thematically it would fit really well. Um, but enough nerding out about that. This back here, this looks to me like a wonder. It almost looks like the Hanging Gardens uh, wonder that the um, that Gaia gets, uh, but it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. This could also just be a campaign asset or a unique building uh, that's new that we haven't seen before. This right here I think is a stables if I had to guess. I do see a horse butt right there. Uh, and is there anything else I can spot in this picture? Um, it looks like looks like that's it oh these vines right here i think this is also from a god power um i forgot what this i forgot what this is called but there's like a carnivorous plant that will uh eat people that come nearby and, and attack them uh the walls uh are not the fully upgraded atlantean walls um uh uh but just like a mid mid tier upgraded atlantean wall i think the fully upgraded version is called um it's actually made of Oh, Ocalitum or something like that. There's like a mythical uh, material that was said to be um, to be used to build Atlantis's walls uh, that made it so strong. Um, and I, I like that the the game included a reference to that, which is really cool. Uh, all right, yeah, that's that's it for that. Uh, let's also take a look at these last two images. These are some some preview images that we got of the new god portraits. This first one's of Loki. Uh, it, oh my god, this is. This is looking sick. Uh, he's looking badass. I love that we kept the same horn design. It definitely resembles the original Loki that we saw in Age of Mythology, uh, but definitely there's been a few updates. Um, the the vibe is looking immaculate. Uh, this little wolf ghost thing here kind of reminds me of like Kindred, uh, where you have the lamb and the wolf. A little bit almost derivative of that. I'm not sure what the wolf spirit is meant to represent. Um, Loki was the uh, father of Fenrir to my if I'm remembering correctly, so maybe this is like a reference to his future kid, but otherwise it doesn't really make sense to me why there's like a wolf spirit hanging around him. Um, and this is Poseidon, a very classic look. Um, I love the the little algae and uh, and and uh, and uh, barnacles growing off of his lower body. Um, just gives him that a little bit more of a um, old god kind of feel. I feel like everything everything with the approach of this game is moving more and more into that direction of like um almost like a cosmic horror kind of old gods kind of vibe which i think is a is an amazing place to draw from considering like if you saw these mythological monsters if you thought if you saw these gods in real life you'd be screaming oh wow the, the horse motif here with the waves also is beautiful poseidon historically was not only the god of uh, the water, but also of earthquakes, of uh, horses, uh, which is why in game Poseidon gets uh, the earthquake, uh, he uh, the earthquake god power. At least one of his um, one of his sub gods gets that power, and then uh, I think it was Artemis. And then he also has bonuses to cavalry. And when you select Poseidon, you get access to the Hatyroi, unique unit for the Greeks, which is uh, really cool. This trident also looks really badass. Um, not much to inspect with this trident; it just looks like a fantasy type of trident. Um, yeah, uh, really amazing, really amazing announcement. I, I'm very, very excited to see uh, uh, how this game will play. I, I'm looking, I'm definitely looking forward to some uh, gameplay footage, and I can't wait to to try it out. Like, oh man, this is gonna be. Uh, Age of Mythology was my favorite game of all time. Like, it was it defined my childhood. It uh, it's what got me interested in mythology. It's what got me interested in. Uh, which which then got me interested in history, and then uh, everything in my life basically cascaded from there. This is this had such a big influence on my childhood, and I, I'm so excited to see like it finally being being brought into the uh, into the modern day uh, once again. And hopefully, uh, you know, I mean, Age of Mythology Extended Edition, it's a good step in the right direction, but not all the way there. Hopefully, this game can uh, bring make Age of Mythology. Uh, bring it back to relevance again. And I know a lot of you guys out there also feel the same way. I know th there's like a huge uh, fan base with this game. Honestly, even people that I, I I didn't know played games would tell me about how how much they like Age of Mythology. So, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing some of you guys uh, play this game. It, it sounds like there will be more more news coming soon, um, and the game is slated to launch sometime this year, 2024. Uh, so we'll have we'll just have to wait and see. And um, yeah, I I'm I'm excited. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel please I would welcome you take a uh, take some time, give it a like, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Um, and obviously, uh, stay tuned for 
tons more Age of Mythology news along with all the Age of Empires goodness. I'm going to be looking, I'm going to be nerding out about all the gods, all the mythology, all the history. Um, that's just what I do on this channel. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you can, uh, you can enjoy, you can enjoy a little bit of that. All right. Uh, see you guys. Stay frosty out there. Stay chilly.